Hi folks, Artie here. Going to start with our painting of the trucks. Now what I have actually done off camera, I've actually um, done a little bit of experimenting. So I know which way to go with painting the models. Um, as you see with the cabs, I've done the undercoat uh, in white. When you do the undercoat, it's preferably, especially if you're going to work on light colours, use a light coloured undercoat. Um, I managed to get the white. Um, it came out pretty smooth. It will need very fine sanding down and then as we did last time rewash these models i've got to go over it really nicely with a fine paper um with the grill around here because i'm going to chrome all this the grill part i've got to get that really nice and smooth and um then we'll be ready to do the next layer of painting doesn't need to be, when you sand it down, you don't have to sand it all the way back down to the plastic again. All I want to do is just get that smooth, smooth finish. For those who's done done cars, you know, like when you do, you wet and dry with the fine paper to get that all smoothness, that's what you need to do. Now, um, I've experimented with the metal paints that I have got, the AK metal paints, it, by doing the, the guards first, I've done it in aluminium, it actually come up quite shiny, um, I left it, I've done this yesterday, so it's 24 hours since I've painted it, and they come up reasonably good, so my next step is going to be with this, is to mask it up so I can actually colour paint the actual chassis the main colour as you see I have done the cab a little bit with the black but um, yeah I'll have to touch that up with these you can actually you'll find with these models there's fine lines coming across um, you can try to sand them down as smooth, smooth as you can um, but you've got to be careful because the plastic's really thin and you wear it right out. So I just get some bit of a smoothness in it. And what I did on these models, I actually used a gloss black over the top as an undercoat. Um, and it was a thicker paint and it gave, gave me that smoothness. I let it dry. And then I went over with the AK's aluminium paint and sprayed it down. And that's how we get that shine. Um, this one here as well, that's done the same way. You can see the shine in the guard. It's pretty, pretty good. What I see. I've done the steps on them as well. Um, I think I missed out on this one here. But I'll, I can fix that up, no problem. I've done these ones at a red guard done the guards first, they're easy to mask up. Um, then repaint the chassis again, to the colour it has to be. This one's the same. The guards broken off on this one when I was washing, so um, I'll hand paint that and put it on. Yeah, even in real life, here, the guards do end up getting damaged. Now, um, I've done three of these. Um, in an old colour scheme of a company that used to operate in a Wollongong area. Um, I've been fitting around and doing some decals to put on them, which come to a later date. I'm just doing, what I'm doing is I'm just doing the paint over for now. The grooves are going to be done last. And I'm going to work out how I'm going to do the chrome lights and the hand rails, the chrome, chrome grab rails, or the climb rails on the side. But they come up reasonably good, I think. 
Now these ones are just done now. Um, another lot, so I'm going to take I'm going to take the tape off and see how see what the results are. Now the base code underneath this, what I've done is um, is silver underneath. The trick with painting, which I've found and been taught, you start from your light colours and you work your way up to your darker colours. So um, I've got the lighter colour underneath. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the red tape. I'm in the tape on it and see how it's actually panned out. One all done. I'm going to try to get the other one. That's not too bad. Too impressed with this colour. It's actually turned out. It's supposed to be like a metallic colour, but it's actually turned out the cut. Turned out flat. So I'm not too impressed with this one. Um, so what I might do is with this um, other one. I might give it another. I might give it a pearl coat on the top. Oh, I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't turned out too bad at all. Um, I'm yeah, just quite disappointed that the metallic didn't turn out in the red. The grill looks all funny at the moment, I know, but. Um, oops. I know it looks funny, the front of the grill, but um, as I said, I'm going to finish all the colour schemes and leave the grills to, to the last moment. Okay, so that's up. Oh, got to the key. Okay. So that's for that one. Um, not too sure where I'm going to put that one yet. I'll put on that one there. Yeah, that'll come up pretty good. Yeah, I might actually hit this one with a gloss before I take the tape off. So I'll leave this one alone. Okay, I've got all my cabs. I've got most of my cabs here now. Um, I've got to work out what chassis I've got to paint up in white colour scheme. Okay, so with this one here, um, the chassis is coming, it's been painted, been washed up, and it's getting undercoated. So we know that one, I know that one's going to have the same colour chassis as this. It's going to be black, um, but I'm going to actually put silver guards on that one. Um, because that's generally what we used to have on the coal in the local area. Now this one is a truck and dog. Now I am thinking about going with this cat one here, like so. Oh, I might go with this one here. Um, this one I'm not too sure of. Now what I do intend to do is, 
um, okay. Right, now that one's going on that one. For the crack and dog. Now, this one's going to be one of my special ones. So this one's going to have um, one of these on. So that one's right. It's going to have yellow striping with a blue roof on. Um, I believe that one's a short chassis too. That's a short chassis. So that one's going to be the same. So that one goes there. Um, Alright, so what have I got left? I've got this one here. So that one can go here. So that's where those ones done. Okay, that's those three. Now I've got um, that one to go on here. That's going to be red with a silver guard on it. Okay. Right. Now, what have I got left? Um, okay. Now, I want to make a couple of these interchangeable. Now, that one is going to be a purple one. It's going to be purple. So, these two here going to have black chassis. Yeah, so these two are going to have black. That's going to be purple. The chassis for this is still in the wash. I'll keep that one aside for now. That's going to have a purple one. Um, well, what I'm going to do is, these two cabs here are going to be done so I can actually interchange them like so um, until I get another another truck and dog so yeah I'll just do it that way alright so we've got that there okay okay so I've got all my cabs sorted just got to get the rest of my chassis painted up now, after experimenting with these, I've worked out the best way to paint the chassis up. I went with doing the guards first and then the chassis. I'm going to do it the other way around this time. So, um, I'm going to work out what I'm going to do now. I've got three Higgies ones here. The chassis for this one's been washed. It needs to be primed up and painted up. It's going to be painted the same colour as that. Uh, these two here, that's going to have black chassis with an al polished aluminium guards. These ones are right. The guard for that, I just need to glue them back on. This one's going to be red, the same as that. This one's got, These two are going to have purple chassis. And it's going to have a unique magenta purple colour over these. So these have just been undercoated. Um, they haven't got the final coat of paint on it. Now with these white ones, I made sure I've got plenty of white on the bottom. Because as I'm going up, it's going to have two different colours. It's going to have a yellow stripe going through it with a blue going up over the top. Um, so that's going to be masked up shortly. So, yeah, let me go and paint these up and we'll, I'll come back and show you how I mask these up. These ones here up. Okay, I'm going to be preparing these cabs now. Now, a rule of thumb by painters, when you want to go to a specific colour, for example, white. You want to use the white, or even yellow, you want to use that as your base colour. Uh, 
um, it's a lot easier to paint over white because it will cover it all up than is to have white cover up a dark color if that makes sense so this one here I've done in a white pearl um, it's going to have two colors in it it's going to have a yellow stripe through it and a blue roof these ones are going to follow the same pattern they haven't got the pearl but I'm actually looking at the white in this in these cabs they can actually do with another coat of white paint so I'm not going to wet mask these ones up I'm just going to use this one for the time being so I'm going to put that aside now when I used to paint my trucks um, majority of my trucks except for all three models they are all cameras and the cameras were reasonably easy because you can actually work out on the lining of where the cabs and everything is joined up so in this one here what I'm going to do is um, the bottom layer is going to be white from this line here down it's going to be white yellow strop going in the middle then you're going to have a break with another white stripe here and the top's going to be blue um, with the models I don't have a photograph of the truck that I had painted in that way but in the previous model, the model before the K200s came out it was a lot easier to do, the toolbox was a lot bigger and it was lower down and it was a lot easier to do the striping so doing it, these cabs it's a bit of a challenge now the masking tapes I'm going to put now are going to remain on there okay um, so once I do the do the yellow striping what I will do is I'll get the male mask let it dry for a day or two then I'm going to get the masking tape and go over the yellow and then I'm going to finish the top off with the blue okay so I'll just quickly mask this up and um, with the magic of video editing I will show you how I masked it all up shortly so here you go I quickly masked up the line for the yellow band I'm not too I noticed with this window the way things are I'm going to have to remove the top mask after the paint's dried and retape it I'm not worried about the other spray to go over the top the bottom is where I want the white so I'll tape that up there's going to be a stripe of white going up in through here so um, I'll show you what I mean by remasking it later uh, for the for the blue. So that's ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to go paint it up, put it aside to dry, and come back. We'll remove this tape here, remask it, and then we'll do the blue up over the top. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go paint this up. Yellow's been painted overnight. I've let it dry. Uh, now it's time to take the masking off and reset it for the blue. Now, only mask that I'm going to take is the top up, the top one off. The bottom mask remains on. That doesn't have to be touched. That stays where it is. Okay. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Pull one of these apart so you can see the effect that you get. Just take that down. Now what I've done is I've actually over taped the top part that's going to be blue, so there's no overspray, so you don't get that lemony off looking or that orange peel look, or reduce the chance of an orange peel look. And the colour is going to be more even. So there you 
you go, that's two caps. So, for my second colour, my white's still okay. So what I'm going to do is, to make it easier so I don't have to measure up and everything else, um, for my next band, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to follow the line, I'm going to follow this line here, on the cab, and go around, and that will give me the white line that I want here, and then I'll end up having the blue going over the top. So I'm going to mask this up, and um, I'll bring it back to you to show you what it looks like once I masked everything up. Now again, the bottom bit, I won't touch. I'll leave it as it is, because they're protecting the bottom white. So anyway, I'm going to mask this up, and I'll get back to you. So here you go, it's all masked up. So now what I'm going to do is, joys of having long fingernails, is just push along on the lines and indentations so the masking tape or the tape actually um, seals up around the cracks and the joints so when you do the paint do the paint paint over the paint doesn't run down I like that this to me a uh, tape that I use this isn't too bad, but it doesn't seem to stick too too well when you push it into its clack into the um, detail. But one good thing about this masking tape, it's not brutal on the actual paint itself. So that one's ready to paint. Let's go over this one as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that looks pretty much right. So I'm going to go and paint these up. I'm going to put the blue on it and let it dry. And then we're going to remove the masking tape. Okay, so here we go, we've got it all painted up. I've done my extra one, doing a bit of experimenting, I'll show that you in a minute. Um, I've decided to do one plain white cap. Um, very common around the place. Now this one's done. I've even sprayed it down with the pearl clear to finish it off. So that's pretty much done apart from the grill the chroming and to blacken up the top windows now this one here I don't know what went wrong here but I have a bit of a bubble here and here so this one's gonna have to get sanded back so I'll put this one aside that's a repair job okay now to continue on with these ones I've done three cabs um, in the same color scheme they turned out pretty good now let's reveal what's happened underneath. Okay, I'll take to remove the masking. Now you see how I've done it must over the top of the yellow and the white. That's going to give me a stripe colour underneath. So let's see how it pans out. Oh I've got a bit of an overspray there. Not happy with that. Uh, you won't see that, that's on the, that's going to be behind the cap. A little bit of a run there, but that looks like it's on the tape, so that's going to be okay. Got a bit of a run here too. Um, I'll find a way how to fix that. Somehow, no matter how much I press down on the tape, I always seem to get that tight. There's another one there. Somehow I'm going to have to try to patch that up. Um, but apart from that, it turned out reasonably good. So that's one tape. Um, okay, let's do a 
to the bottom one. Okay. Get this bottom one done. Look at that. Hasn't turned out too bad. Now, um, still got to do the chroma at the front. Um, and do a pearl over the top. I'm going to do a pearl over that as, as well. I'll try to scrape that blue run somehow with that damaging the white paint, but that's done. That's pretty much done. In due course, I'm going to end up putting striping around the side. Um, or then again, I might just leave it as it is. I'll see how it goes. Okay, now for the king cab, let's see how this one's panned out. Hopefully I don't have any runs on this one. Okay. I'll start from the back. Because that way, if there's any scratches and whatnot, you're not really going to see it because the trail is going to cover the back part of it. There we go, I'm going to remove the blue. Ah, oh, damn it. Got runs on that one too. So, still hasn't come up too bad though. I'll fix those little tiny runs up. That's that one. This one hasn't turned out too bad, apart from those tiny little runs. They've actually turned up pretty good. There you go. Another one. Um, now this one here, um, I used actual humbrol paint to finish this one off. Um, one thing I noticed about the humbrol paint is especially with the metallic one it takes a few days to dry this one's actually taken oh, approximately three four days to dry so okay now we're going to see what the results going to be of this one okay so hopefully i'm not going to have too much of a run on this either oh, no, that's it's looking pretty good so far. Let's go on. So far so good, no runs in it. Shit's not turned out reasonably good. one there. It actually doesn't look too bad. See? Okay. I'll just do this side. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to 
but there we go so that's that's how we've done the striping um, that's still got the um, the finish that I've got on the front of that grill there is silver leaf from Tamiya paint which is the base colour for that so that's actually done actually, I'm impressed with that it's come up quite good okay now I've done some experimenting with the AK Chrome now what I've actually found to get a nice shine you got to use a very shiny gloss paint over it don't use the, the AK's undercoat it doesn't bring up the shine if you've seen how I've done the chassis with the gloss with the thick gloss black I've used that now as my black undercoat and then put the chrome paint over the top so let's see how the how it, this has turned out um, other thing I've noticed about this chrome paint the longer you leave it uh, the bigger the shine becomes in time there we go it's coming up slowly Blacks bled through, but I can fix that up on the bottom. It's not a huge drama. See what I mean? I, I did actually have it all sealed up, but it seemed to leak through. I'm not too happy with the, with the tape. The tape's let me down once again. So overall, oh, I've taken off direct paint off that. Not too happy about that. I'll have to fix that up somehow. But overall, it's come up pretty good. The wheels come up fantastic. So I'm going to leave that aside to set. So that's all done. Okay, so we're going to go on with the uh, painting of the cabs and the prime mover. Now, um, I've been doing some experimenting with the liquid chrome paint. Uh, this one's a 2mm. They actually come in three different sizes, and they actually come in smaller sizes than this. I'm still waiting for the other two smaller ones to come in, so while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to get on with it. Now you can see the finish, you can see the finish on here, on the chrome, how it came out, and that was using this pen. So it's come up, reason, it come up pretty good, nice and shiny, does look chrome-like. Now I also expect, done, done a quick comparison on these two cabs. Now, on the blue cab, I've used a pen. On the red cab, the red and silver one, I've actually used a chrome paint. However, I, if you see, I have actually had a bit of a problem. When I mastered it all up, paint the black, the gloss black over the top, to give me a base colour, to get the chrome to shine up, it actually bled through. But it hasn't come up too bad. But now I've actually found that using this pen, it's going to save me a lot of time from masking up. I didn't need to do a gloss black on the background on this one. And it came out as a nice finish. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the other caps in the same technique. Now, only thing I have to do is find my fine sandpaper. This one's my fine one. Now, on the grill, I'm going to redo this grill. There are lines of the mark from where I masked 
previously for the um, for the lines. Now this cap needs to be redone anyway because when I've taken the masking tape off, it's actually taken some of the red off. So I'm going to have to redo that. I might actually do that with a brush. So I'm not too impressed with this model. But I'm not going to repaint it. I'm going to actually heavily weather this one to make it look like she's actually had a hard life working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the grill, only towards the sides. Just give the light sand down. Take the lines out. Because this crown will actually show up, show, show up all the imperfections. quickly quickly go over it that's reasonably good uh, just go over this side again a bit more and we got the grill I'm going to redo this with the marking pen um, and do the same with these other ones just on the grill part here where the, where the lines join and the last cap ok so that's all the caps done now Pen. Get a good shaking. Press it down a bit. And I'm going to do the purple one first. And this part of this is a nice spray painting look like. There's that one finished. So what I'm going to do is, I still need a little bit in the corner. That's that one done. Just leave it up like that because I have noticed it is a tad runny. Okay, I'm going to do this one the same way. It is a tad runny, so you just want, don't want to over push it. This cap's going to be the left. What? Look at that. Simple as that. It's not going to take long for it to do. Go over the grill, inside, over the grill, like so.
But as you can see, it's not going to take long. Just go over it a little bit, fill in the crevices. And that's another one done. Nearly as quick and easy as um, spray painting. It's actually, I think it's actually a little bit quicker because there's no masking involved, there's no cleaning up of airbrushes involved in it. And as you can see, it's only taking me a matter of just a stroke or two when we've got the and we've got the chrome finish. So in no time at all, as you can see, the trucks are slowly coming to life. They're starting to look like a truck. There's another one. So no time at all. I will do this. this. And lucky last. I've got this one here. So as you see, doing it this way. It doesn't take all that long, and it actually is actually quite, quite quick. Yeah, they um, you can see they're coming up pretty good. Just going to go over the headlights on all these other ones because I'm actually quite happy with the way the headlights have turned out. Right. This one here, I'll do the front and do the lights on here. Now I'm going to go one extra on this one. I'm going to go and do the the splash card on the sword. See, I'll do a bit on this side. Let's 
so do the event on this side. Well done, that was... Oh, that was a big mistake. Um, so this one's... I'm the grill again. So this one's pretty much... done. So I'm gonna leave these overnight to, to dry. Um, I am going to wait for the finer pens to turn up so I can do the finer detail. So there isn't no runs like what you've seen in a couple of incidences that I've had already. So that will be, you'll see the final, you'll see the final finish when I start doing the assembly on the items. So there you go, the painting on the cabs are done.